right uh, so in this video we are going to go through the process of doing estimations uh, or quotations for jobs it's either it be for servicing a motor vehicle or it can be panel beating so to do that we want to go to transactions here and then you go on job costing then you click on job card right so under job card you can see here uh, you click on new job so we are opening a job so i click on new job and then you come under customer here uh, you select the name of your customer so you can just drop down arrow here or type the name of your client and the, the name will appear so the client name there is joseph maunga so in the event that your client does not exist in your system you can just right click here and click on add new to add a new client so here you enter the new name of the new client uh let's say the name of the new client is hafana uh, okay let me do habana habana james that's the name of the client uh, right you can also put the contact details of the client under contact details here you can put the the client address and also the contact people in their phone numbers but what matters most is the name of the customer so after that you can click on ok here to save and then automatically your customer name is saved and then you go to job status make sure the job status is on court by default it will be on court right so you come down here to this table you click just left click if you do a left click uh, you will see this one will appear and then you go on on transaction code uh, click on stock select stock on transaction code then account uh, drop down arrow first you need to select the the job so i can just write job the first job is job one so i select on job one so we are going to have uh, stock items that will be written job number one up to as many jobs as you want so by the default the system will come with uh from job number one to job number ten so you just select uh start with job number one uh, going forward right and then i want you to come on price here uh price you just put zero comma zero comma one here and then you click tab key to go to the next line uh also i want you to right click on this line and then click on line note and then in this line note we are going to write a brief description of the job that we are going to do so in this case we are going to do body works so i type body works here body works attend to brand bamba so attend to front bamba and lights and then we click ok and then uh, we start entering all the items that are related to this job that we want to quote so to do that we can just right click here and click on new line and then a new line will pop up you come here under this column written transaction code select the transaction code stock and then you go next this column you select the item that you want to quote uh, maybe we are quoting here front bumper so i select that front bumper and then quantity one we end our price maybe we are quoting it at 120 then i end the next line again uh here i select stock and then account i select again the the next item let me search for lights uh, there are no lights let me put sundries 
So we've got sundries there. And then one quantity one. And our sundries are what? $80. And then I caught the next job. Now I want to go for the next job. So I drop down arrow there. I select stock. And then when you want to jo go to the next job, select uh, type job. Job 2. And then job 2 appear here. And then after job 2 appear, just click tab key, tab key. Then right click here. Click on line notes. And then on our line notes, uh, we are going to write the brief description of the job number 2. So it's going to be engine. Engine maintenance. Engine maintenance and gearbox attention. Right, and then you click on OK. Right, uh, so you right click again and then you click on new line. And then a new line will come. You go to transaction code column, select stock. And then you go to account or item. You select, uh, let me select the uh, bow joints. Bow joints. And we are going to put quantity 2 here. And then our price for ball joint is going to be $25 each. And then we go again to the next, which is transaction code again. Select stock. And here select the account or the item. So our item we are going to select gearbox here. So I pick gearbox. Right. And the quantity is going to remain 1. And our gearbox we are going to quote it at 550 Right, uh, so basically that's how we are going to be doing our quotation. So when we are done with our quotation, let me just enter one last one last job. So I drop down arrow here, I select on stock again, I go to account. Now the next account I want to put job, job 3. So I put job 3 there, and then on price, just put 0, 0,1 on the price. If you don't put 0, 0,1, uh, it will not appear. Uh, here I can see we did not put 0, 0,1 on this job. Let me just come back to it. 0, 0,1 again. Right. Uh, so we are now on job number 3. So we want to put our line note for job number 3 for brief description of the job. So we click on line notes. Uh, so I end up my line notes. Maybe I say uh, car cleaning and painting. Right. Uh, and then I click OK. And then I right click here. I click on new line. I select the items or the stock parts. That are going to be put here. Uh, let me just put a filter. It's going to be $12. Lastly, I would like to put labor. Uh, so select stock part. And then here, select the labor. I'm sure we have an item called labor here. Uh, we don't have an item called labor. So let me just add this item called labor. So in your setup, it should be there. Since you might not be having the rights to add uh, stock items. And then you need to tick on service if it's labor, since we will not be tracking quantity for this labor. And then we end our labor hours. Maybe it's going to be eight hours. We end the eight hours. And we are going to be billing $56 per hour. Right, so that's it. That's how we process our quotation. So after this, you click on process and close. Do you want to print? You can say yes. And then it will be printed. So this is how it will look like. And then you can see your job and your description for each job. Uh, and the totals here. Also, if you want to print it, you can just click on that printer. And then you need to click on print to file. And then here, uh, we have set it to, you need to click on desktop. 